back to my channel. I feel like it's been a little bit since I've done a makeup tutorial, but I wanted to do this tutorial right here, this kind of summery, classic uh, makeup. And I do realize, I did not realize this until the end of the video, that it does kind of look like I'm going to a Christmas party, actually. But I still think that this would be bomb for like a summer party or anything like that that you need to go to. Um, I love red lips all year round. They're just gorgeous. And I try to do like a lot of highlights. Let me know like your summer plans because... I've got a lot planned for the summer and I'm really excited. I'm going to vlog all of it. Love vlogging. Um, yeah, and also this is the last day of me being a teenager. So I'm kind of dying on the inside just a little bit. Um, I don't know how to react. So tomorrow, the 23rd of May, I turn 20. Oh my gosh. Ah! I'm turning 20 in less than 24 hours. What the heck? I don't even know. It's just crazy. My life up to this point has just flown by. Just remember to don't wish your life away. I mean, I'm already almost 20 years old and I feel like it's gone like that. Like it has flown by. I just cannot believe that I will no longer be a teenager. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this and if you want to know how to get this not inspired Christmas makeup, but summer makeup tutorial, then just keep watching. So we're gonna start off real simple with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids. Okay, so I want this to be like a really warm, summery look. So I'm gonna go in to the Pocahontas palette from the Disney collection. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I don't know where you can find them. Um, but I'm going to be taking this warm peachy orange shade. Like if you just have like a peachy color, that would work perfect. And I'm just going to buff that right in my crease as usual. Okay, I'm also going to take this down on the lower lash line. So taking a slightly warmer, deeper orange shade, I'm going to take peanut butter here from the Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm just going to layer that right on top, just below that um, orange shade that we used. So it kind of has like an ombre effect. Taking a fluffy brush, I am just going to blend this out, make it look softer. So taking the Pocahontas palette once again, I'm going to take the shade Warrior. Just slightly, this is just like a burgundy red color. I'm just going to buff that just ever so slightly right on that outer corner. So I am going to take a chocolatey brown color and I'm going to take Sycamore from the same palette, so this one here. And I'm going to take the pencil side of my Naked Smoky brush, or like the smudging side. And I'm just going to place this just right on the outer corners here. I don't want to do it too much. And then I'm going to go underneath the lash line right on the outer corner as well. And I'm going to drag it in just a bit. Okay, for the lid, I'm going to take a wet, flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to be taking this Revolution um, Shimmer Brick, I think in Radiant. It is just their highlight, but I love to use this as eyeshadow as well. So it's super pretty and it's $3. Great, by the way, for this shade here. We're going to start off. This is like a like champagne-y highlight color. And I'm taking my wet brush. And basically what the wet brush is going to do is it's 
just going to help it um, be more metallic -y. And I am going to put that right on the lid and into the inner corner and on the bottom as well. So on top of that, I'm going to take the same shimmer brick and I'm going to take this color right up here. This is just a pearly white shade. And I'm going to layer that right on top. Alright, so for lashes, I am just going to use my Great Lash Mascara just as a primer because we're going to put some fake lashes on. So I'm just going to barely touch these with mascara so they will blend in nicely with our fake ones. So for the falsies, we're going to be using um, the Glamour uh, by Ardell. And I love these. They're so wispy and long and just, I love them. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right, so lashes are on. I did cut them down a little bit. I am just not used to wearing like such like fluttery lashes. So I cut them down just a little bit. Um, and to hide the band, I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner pencil. And I'm just gonna go over the band slightly with this. put some of this uh, liner on my tight line as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take um, a chocolate, dark chocolate brown again, and I'm just going to put that right on the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm going to take a little bit more of the uh, white pearly color and I'm going to just make sure that this is real good and highlighted. Okay, so I actually did not realize that my phone or my camera was not recording. Um, so I just um, explained that I had already put on foundation before the video just to save on time because these videos are so long anyways. Um, but the products that I used, I used the Nivea Shave Balm as my um, Primer, and then I used the uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous, their uh, three-in-one foundation, which this stuff is really good, by the way. I used it years ago, and then I just never picked it back up, and then I'm back on it again. It's really good. It feels really nice on the face. It covers pretty well. Uh, yeah, so I used that, and then I just put on concealer. I did not know that the camera was not recording at the time, but I just used... Um, my Master Conceal from Maybelline, put that on with a little uh, concealer brush and blended it in with my um, complexion sponge. For powder over top of my concealer, I just like to take like a white powder, like a white eyeshadow. I know that's weird, but it works for me. Um, I ran out of my setting powder, so this is what I'm using for right now. But it works pretty well. I've been doing that f this for a, l a few days now and it's worked. So. For brows, I'm going to do this off camera, but I always use the NYX Tame and Frame in the color Burnett with my uh, BH Cosmetics, I don't know, angled brush, I guess. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright, brows done. So, we're going to go ahead and bronze. Of course, we have to. It's a summer look, y'all. So, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics 128 brush. It's just a really small... I don't know, dense flat top brush. Um, and I really like this because it's small so you can, um, I just like to lightly contour just a little bit on the cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, contour like normal. Okay, and I'm gonna buff that out with my Lab 2 contour blush, or yeah, contour brush. And this has no product on it, I'm just gonna buff it out. Buff out my contour. For blush, taking the blush I always use, Soft Focus Glee from Bare Minerals. You guys, I really got to get some new products. It's getting bad. It's 
gotten to a point to where I really want to be swimming in highlighter. So we are going to be taking, this is the uh, Becca Opal Liquid Highlighter, the one that they had like around Christmas time. I don't know if they still sell that, but you can get like in the big tube. Um, I'm going to put this everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the high points of my cheeks. So just like that. Pat it right in with your finger or you can do it with a sponge, whatever you prefer. I like to go just like a little bit over my blush. Just so my blush, so my cheeks can be highlight on fleek as well. Okay, a little bit on the tip of my nose. I don't like to do like a ton on my nose because if I put too much highlighter on, I start to look like a grease ball. So I don't want that. So just a bit on my nose. This is kind of smells like sunscreen. And then right here on my Cupid's bow. For over top of that, taking the Revolution Shimmer Brook again. And I like to mix like this champagne -y color with this, these two top colors. Um, so I'm just going to do that. This stuff is good. And if you don't have the liquid highlighter, um, that is totally fine. No, no big deal. Um, you can just use this. This is really inexpensive. I can't remember if this was three or seven dollars. It's either one, but either way, it's not expensive. All right, girls, so for lips, I'm going to do a red lip. You guys can do a pink lip, whatever you guys want, but I wanted to do red. I don't ever really do red lips, and I think red lips are perfect for summer. So we're going to take Brick by MAC, which is just a nice deep red shade, and I'm going to line my lips with this. All right, to go over top of that, I'm going to take Revolution their intense lip lacquer and I don't even know what color this is in. Oh, like that love. It's just a red gloss, but it's super pigmented and it's so pretty. And we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me. I cannot believe it's almost summertime and I'm turning 20 tomorrow. It's just amazing. And I know I kind of look like this is a Christmas look. I actually didn't realize that this would be like more Christmassy than summer, but I still think this is a really pretty uh, look for summer, despite that it looks like I'm going to a Christmas party. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up, please. And don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments down below. I love all of you guys so much, and I will see you next time.